lucky and a puck comes to Merritt. Merritt has center ice for the gears, fires a shot on, Tucker makes the save, throws the puck off to Darwin Maud, who dumps it down ice in the Saginaw zone. And backward, throw the gears, Thompson, the icing is waved off. 2.35 to play. Gold Diggers lead 6 to 5, third period. As Merritt, for the gears and over the the line, drop past Nicole. Down the right wing boards, a pass broken up by Donnie Craig. The puck comes off the boards to the left point. Thompson fires it in back of the goal to Como. Over the corner to Irving, right point to Merritt. Wide with the play, right in front. And Tucker covers up. Flatter is back and makes the save with Stu Irving right at the doorstep. And Irving has had two goals in this game for the Saginaw Gears. And with 2 11 remaining, it's a 6 5 hockey game. And Jeff Tucker making a super save there. And the goal diggers trying to hang on to this lead. Jim McCabe also with two goals for Toledo. Yuri Kudersas with a go ahead goal at 16 17 from Jerry Batty up to Donnie Westbrook. 2 11 to play, third period. The Toledo Gold Diggers 6, the Gears 5. They face off the left side of Ted Tucker. Here's Thompson at the line, firing it in and blocked by Douglas. Douglas up along the wing, clears the puck to center ice. Scooping it up is Gravel. He's chased by Crudisauce, fires it up ice, top of the middle line by Ken Douglas. And a whistle on the play there. Offside. As Kurdasov broke his stick plan, I think he's going to get a penalty here. Didn't drop it immediately. So a two-minute minor penalty against Jerry Kurdasov with 157 to play third period. The go diggers lead. They stagger out here. He was playing with a broken stick. When you break I a stick, heard that call. When you break a stick and play, you're supposed to immediately drop it to the ice. And Curtisaw is not protesting it too much with referee Sam Sisko. 157 to play, third period. The go diggers lead six to five over the Saginaw Gears. Jerry Kurdasov has got the go-ahead goal here at 16-17 in his third period of play. <laughs> Just talked to Reg Fleming passing our broadcast booth and a real competitor is suspended in the IHL for his incident was uh, hitting linesman John Kellogg in the last game played in Saginaw. The gears roll a puck across the middle line. Douglas feeds the Lauren Dow, fires it down ice, and the gears all. The gears with a power play. Here's Gravel, back of his own goal, 140 remaining here in the third period. The goal diggers lead 6 to 5. Gravel over the pedal line, working his way in a pass to Garosa Johnson, and he failed to connect. Puck goes back to the right point, Gravel, into the corner to Johnston. The gears with a power play, back to the line to Merritt. His shot blocked by Johnny Martin, the puck comes to center right. Here's a break for him and McPhee. Oh, a lot of shots, and a great skate save by Raleigh Kimball. One ten to play. Merritt carries the puck over the Gold Diggers line. For Saginaw, they have the power play. Merritt taking his time. DeRoche in the corner, back to the line of Merritt, bring a shot and blocked by Douglas. Here's a chance for Irving, and Tucker covers up, flat on his back, with 49 seconds to play. Oh, I tell you, what a playoff series this has been right down to the final game. And the Saginaw Gears with a power play with Yuri Kritosov off in the penalty box for the Gold Diggers. Hockey drama at its best. Jeez, and out come penalty killers, Paul Brunel and Darwin Mott. Ken Douglas is out there now with Jerry Badiak. We wait for the face-off. It will be to Ted Tucker's left-hand side. 49 seconds remains in the game, and Saginaw has a power play right to the end. Ken Tucker.
second out of goal, talking with Darwin Mott, Kent Douglas, Jerry Batty, Uncle Mo Brunel. The penalty killers out in front of Teddy Tucker. Now McPhee skates out, and off goes Darwin Mott. 49 seconds left in his third period, and the Toledo Gold Diggers lead the Saginaw Gears by a score of 6 to 5. Goes back out, and Cisco says no. That's it. Cisco says that's the line, Teddy Garvin, and Mott now comes back to the Gold Diggers bench. McPhee will take the face off against Johnson. The puck loose along the board. Here's a chance for Gravel firing at him, broken up. A chance for Merritt at the line. Shot blocked by McPhee, and the puck comes all the way down ice, and they sag it on his own. 35 seconds to play. 35 seconds. 30 seconds, it's Johnson at the Toledo line, working his way right in goal, and Badia coming in from nowhere to block the shot. Puck loose back of the goal, played by Badia, they jam up there, and with 18 seconds remaining on the clock for the third period, the Gold Diggers hang on to a 6-5 to five lead as the Gears with a power play. And the opposer goalie, Raleigh Kimball, to the second offense for the extra attacker up front. Oh, I'll tell you, I've never seen a finish like this, Glenn. Exciting playoff hockey, the Cinderella team of hockey this year, the Toledo Gold Diggers. I don't know, I, I'll catch up. You, you have to keep talking. You've been here before. I haven't. I've have been here many times. Two Bears back in the early 60s. And I'll tell you, this one is the greatest of all for our Toledo Gold Diggers. Darwin Mott against Johnson on the face off. Glenn Wright fires a shot blocked by Mott. Puck in the corner, 12 seconds to play in the period. Here's to Roger. To John Gravel whistles one in. Blocked by Martin. Five seconds to play. Four seconds. Three seconds. One second. Holy Toledo.
Gritsch's Go Digger Club as they return home. And I'll tell you, in all my years, 12 years of broadcasting hockey, I have never in my life experienced such pandemonium as the Go Diggers, an expansion hockey club after Paul Bright gave up on the fine hockey fans in Toledo, and Jenny Garvin and company, who put it all together, picking up fine veterans like Westbrook and Kent Douglas, and what a tremendous finish, Glenn I Douglas, Kent Douglas, and Glenn, if you don't mind, while you do some recapping, I'm going to try and make my way down here and offer my congratulations to Teddy Garvin. I told him he won the cup, I'd kiss him at center ice. Well, I'll let you, and I'll also give you this paper because he can get his word and get the opportunity to get back up there. We'll get it on the air during this wrap-up, because this has got to be the greatest thing for me in sports. To have an opportunity to win, and win it all, the Turner Cup for Toledo, and... Uh, so Shaky, I can hardly get my mic in the mic jack on the doggone tape recorder. It's ready. Just push those two buttons right there and talk to the man. Absolutely super. Uh, the Toledo Gold Diggers have won. And out comes Phil Began. Out comes Phil Began. And here comes the Turner Cup for Toledo. It's on the ice now. And we'll try to pick up what Began has to say. And he comes out with Coach Ted Garvin shaking hands with the commissioner. Garvin shaking hands. And they wait now for the presentation. Kudrasov. Kudrasov says we're number one. Saginaw with Silver. And now we wait. Kudrasov ready to take the cup for Toledo. Shaking hands with Vegan, the photographers are mobbing them, getting their pictures. Garvin standing there as well. The gold diggers crowding around. Some of the Toledo fans have got on the ice. And we wait now for the presentation. It is yet to touch Kudrasov's hands. And now, he has it. It's in his hands. The Turner Cup belongs to Toledo. And the gold diggers have won it. The Turner Cup is ours. Ken Douglas is down there. Kudrasov holds it above his head. And the Toledo gold diggers have won the Turner Cup for Toledo. Getting it around the ice. Jerry Badiak, Scotty Westbrook, Mo Brunel, they're all around him. And the Gold Diggers get around the ice. Winning the Turner Cup for Toledo by a final score of 6 to 5. We'll be back to wrap it up on the Holiday Inn Hockey Wrap Up. Coming up next, you're on WTUU Toledo. All the good people at Bob Schmidt Chevrolet salute the Gold Diggers and all you great fans and remind you that springtime is band time. Time for camping bands, fishing bands, hauling vans, or just plain fun vans. Bob Schmidt Chevrolet is the home of the Sharp Pencil Deal. That means a great deal on Chevrolet's complete line of vans, trucks, and new and used cars as well. At Bob Schmidt Chevrolet, 1425 Reynolds in Maumee, home of the Sharp Pencil Deal. Bob Schmidt Chevrolet. London Mitchell, WTU Use Program Director. I'd like to take this moment to say thank you. I'd like to say thanks to all our sponsors who have been with us on our Gold Digger broadcast this season. Thanks to First Federal Savings of Toledo, to Bob Schmidt Chevrolet, and to the accommodating folks over at the Holiday Inns, and all our other fine Gold Digger sponsors. But most of all, I'd like to take the opportunity to say thank you to all of you listening to our Gold Digger broadcast. You've made WTUU feel like we've been right in the middle of all the excitement of this year's Gold Digger mania, and we've loved it. We at WTUU feel that Len Hardman, Glenn Taylor, and Bob McCarthy have been doing a super job with the broadcast. And now that the hockey season is winding to a close, WTUU would like to hear from you. Your reactions to our broadcasts of Gold Digger Hockey. Mail your comments to Gold Diggers, WTUU, Commodore Perry Motor Inn, Toledo, Ohio, 43604. And, oh yes, we'll be back next season to broadcast the Gold Digger Games. Here on WTUU. And this is WTUU Toledo. <laughs>
And it's time for the Holiday Inn Hockey Wrap-Up, brought to you by the Holiday Inns of Toledo. And now with the summary of tonight's just marvelous game, here's Glenn Taylor. It has been a marvelous game either way, Mike Cook, I must say that. But I must say also that it's all even more marvelous because the Gold Diggers are swinging the Turner Cup back to Toledo. And I'm kind of choked up. I want to run down the scoring for you, but I will tell you again, the final score was 6-5, to five, and as they have all season long. These guys gave us 100% and came from behind to win it. Did it at the time that it counted. The fans are mobbing and hugging each other down in front of the Gold Diggers dressing room. And it's pandemonium down there. The people, I think like me, are at a loss with some of the, what really to say. But uh, for Toledo, they've wanted three busloads of fans here tonight. About 200 and all for Toledo. So we expect to see thousands of you when we get back to uh, the uh, uh, first win in Toledo. And uh, the goal is it'll take them some time to get out of the dressing room. Once they do, it'll be two hours and 45 minutes, according to bus driver Harold Powers, until we're back in Toledo. And we'll be back in a moment to wrap it up and bring you the statistics for this game, the championship for Toledo. Right now, you're listening to the Holiday Inn Hockey Wrap-Up on WTUU Toledo. You get that holiday feeling, sign out front? Well, they have a restaurant there. A good restaurant. With plenty of good food and good times just waiting to be had. So next time you're in a festive mood, remember, you don't have to go on vacation to get that holiday feeling. Just go out to dinner at your local Holiday Inn. For the finest in dining, eating, banquet, or sleeping accommodations, visit the Holiday Inn downtown, Summit of Jefferson, North Manhattan at I-280, West Reynolds at Heatherdown, and South I-280 at Turnpike Exit 5. And so the Gold Diggers win the Turner Cup and bring it back to Toledo. The Miracle Man of 100 hockey games bringing it home. The Miracle Team of Hockey for 1974 and 75. It didn't start out that way and it didn't look that way through most of the game. But the Gold Diggers won the Turner Cup tonight and they won it here at Saginaw. John Gravel scored first for the Saginaw Gears, 11 minutes and 21 seconds into the first period. Donnie Westbrook tied it up for Toledo from Martin and Kudrasaz at 1705. Jimmy McCabe of Toledo to start the second period of the, of the 1 1 tie. Push one pass, Wally Kimball from McBee and Brunel at 2 minutes 50 seconds of the uh, second period. Irving tied it up at 2 2 at 831. And then Irving scored again on a power play with Craig Stamp off the ice and a two-minute elbowing call at 9-12. Irving put in a power play from Gravello to Rosier at 9-32. Jimmy McCabe tied it up again at 3-3. Three, three, excuse me, yeah, 3-3. Three, three. On a goal from Ken Douglas at 15-29, but then it was DeRossi scoring from Johnston and Irving at 16-44. And Johnston scoring a power play goal from Gravel and DeRossi at 18-30, but 23 seconds later, Donnie Craig scoring from the uh, blue line on a feed from Ian McPhee. And he went into the final period with Saginaw leading 5-4. to four. Michelle Lorando tied it up 3 minutes and 15 seconds into the final period. From Darwin Mott and Doug Mahut, a really handsome play. Mahut fed Mott. Mott fired the puck. He rebounded out. Lorando, using hustle, moved to the center of the Saginaw zone and fired it past Kimball to tie it up. And then uh, the penalty calls came, and it was Gordy Malinowski, a two-minute tripping call that came at 16-13 of the period. And just four seconds later, Westbrook fed Badiak. Badiak fired the shot on goal, and Yuri Kudrasov scored it as he put it over Kimball's shoulder. And it was the Gold Diggers winning the Turner Cup on that winning goal by Kudrasov. But the game wasn't over yet. With the Gold Diggers ahead 6-5 to five. at 18.03 of the third period, it was Kudrasov called in a two-minute penalty for playing with a broken stick. And so, the Gold Diggers penalty killers for a minute and 57 seconds held the Saginaw gears off. Only two shots on goal, and both of those tremendous saves by Ted Tucker to do the job tonight for the Gold Diggers. Stu Irving of Saginaw got called for a penalty that was never identified. Uh, after the game was over, he was after official San Francisco, claiming that he had been 
uh, interfered with or there should be some sort of a, a penalty called. Cisco hadn't seen it, and he called Irving once Irving gave him a shove. And so uh, that's the way it ended. But it ended with the Gold Eagles winning 6-5. to five. We'll be back in a moment to wrap up the Holiday and Hockey wrap-up right here on WTUU Toledo. Michigan, what is this? How about this one? Room 